Get started by creating a new account. An account is your client space where a website or loyalty program resides. For each account, you can create a client level login for your customer to access their account when they need to be able to update their website content or access their leads and statistics. You can start by creating a new page. In our platform, you can create mobile-only pages as well as responsive pages. Mobile pages are for separate mobile sites, optimized for smartphones. Mobile pages have a maximum content width of 600 pixels. Responsive pages work for all screen sizes. To demonstrate how to add content to a page and customize the page visually, I will start by creating a mobile page. Please note that the same exact page editor and features apply when creating responsive pages. Simply add widgets to the page by clicking them in the widget selection box on the left. You can add a header menu widget to display the company logo with the drop-down menu next to it. Alternatively, you can also use the picture widget for the header. Let's add a text widget for About Us section. By the way, most widgets can be made collapsible in an accordion-style navigation by clicking on Collapse This Section checkbox. Let's add a map widget. A form. The form fields are completely customizable, and form submissions are saved in your control panel and can also be sent to you via email. Let's add an image gallery and select multiple images to upload. There are several image gallery types to select from. Next, with the social buzz widget, we'll add the social sharing links to the page. And we'll add the social bar widget to display links to the social network accounts. Finally, let's add a call button. For that, we'll use our link button widget. Note that the link button is an easy way to create custom buttons that can contain custom colors or gradients, images, or icons. To change the style of any element, click on the style icon next to it.
Next, I'll like to rearrange a few items on this page. Let's click on the Drag Components button to enable the draggable mode. Background settings can be applied to any element individually. To change styles for the page, let's click on the Page Style link at the top. Let's add a background image. and also set the background for all headers on this page. Click on the Publish button to publish the page. Let's preview this page in the browser. As you've noticed, the gray demo line is displayed on the page. This is because the site is currently in demo mode. To remove the gray demo line, let's click on Go Live button to make this website live. To convert a mobile page to responsive, simply click on Convert to Responsive link at the top. You can also create a new responsive page from scratch or by using one of our responsive templates. With the new advanced editor, widgets are placed in containers and containers are placed in rows. You can place multiple elements in a container or in a row. You would do that when you need to set styles around a group of widgets, such as this background color or if you need to apply accordion-style navigation on top of all elements in a container. By the way, accordion navigation can be applied to small screens only. To display elements on the same line next to each other, set the width of the elements in a row accordingly. You can apply separate styles to elements for small and large screens. For instance, set the width percentage to 100% for small screens, so that the elements are displayed one under the other, taking up the full width of the screen. And set the width to smaller values for large screens to display these elements next to each other. Or, apply separate visual settings for smartphones and desktops. Small screen settings are applied by default. Clicking on a widget adds it to the bottom of the page. To add a widget in a specific location, you need to select the container first. You can hide certain elements on large or small screens. Widgets and rows can be made reusable to be added to other pages later, eliminating duplicate work.